Look, y'all. I'm going to show you my haul from... Where do we uh, go? Our haul. Our haul. From... Um, where do we go? Um, Canton. Canton. Canton Hall. First Monday trade days. First Monday trade days. We are here in the toy room. Because that's the only clear table I have right now. And he's going to tell you his stuff. And then I will tell you the stuff I got. And what are you keeping if you're going to be selling anything? What you got? I'm only keeping the Schaefer's and Parker pen trays. And the hooks because we always need hooks. And I guess we'll keep these plant hangers because we always need those. We're always looking for plant hangers. And we always get them. We have several. We need to use them. We need plants. But everything else we can sell. No, some of this stuff I'm keeping. Some of this is mine. But I got wood Because like, I need more. Because I need more stuff. <laughs> but wood ducks. This one. The four ducks I got cheap for $15. And he wanted more, but this one was broke. But it was a clean break, so that could be repaired. And you have this. What's up? That's a metal medicine cabinet. I'm keeping that for my bathroom because I'm trying to make it vintage. Yeah. Really cool. I think we got that for like $7. Yeah, there's $7. another duck head in there. Yes, and, and the little hook thing in there too. Oh, yeah. This is a... I think a razor. I think it holds a razor. A men's or a women's razor. Well, there's a rose on it, so. Yeah, there's a rose on it. You can see that. Pretty That's metal cool. rose. Got that cheap. That little owl you're holding. I think that was on a dollar table. And then. Put a shaper right here. There, there's a shaper. He's collecting pins, so he needs a pillow holder for his pins, so they're comfortable. What's this? Oil can. That leaks. <laughs> so it's closed now, but it leaks. But when you unscrew it and want to use it, you just screw that on, and now oh, the oil will come out. And it's attached. That's weird. Okay. I got this because I have a the set. That it all goes to right there. It will go in those boxes. It was sitting alone by himself looking for a home. So I grabbed him because I knew what he was. And then they got all these poker chips. They're from different casinos. They're real poker chips. But there's no high dollar one here. But my mom and dad used to go to Vegas and stuff and always bring back a poker chip that they collected from every hotel. Heck, this might have been theirs. And, I, and she donated them or something. <laughs> this little box you got, right, Dave? Yeah, just to hold stuff in. But... See, if it's a box and you put it in there, it's what not boarding. What I like hoarding. about it is that normally you see these little boxes and they have those little hinges that the screws always come out. Mm -hmm. But this is hinged with wire. It's locked in there. So that's that's a solid little box. There's no markings on it other than the marks in the gilding. So I'm not sure like who made it. But those wire hinges, those will never come off unless you like really break this thing. So that's cool. And a few little pins and buttons in there. I think there's two. Oh. Good luck reading that. We never guess we look, look it up. We never guess we look it up. <laughs> Do you do that? So oh, we're not it. guessing. We'll, we'll look it up. And that is junior scientist. 
Yeah, I like the graphic. It's sharing junior scientists. And it's got a cool graphic of some know-it-all <laughs> concocting something. Okay, and this is a... Trouble lamp trouble cage. Lamp cage. People use those to make lamps. So I've been told in round top. Many times. <laughs> he has a whole collection of lamp part, parts and not really made any yet. I got this guy. I need to list him ASAP for Halloween. I already did my Halloween haul. And got this cool blue lion. He's a lion, right? Not a tiger. That's a lion. It's a lion. No markings on him. But I really liked his colors. And. Wow, you must have really liked him. Why? Yeah. Oh, I got a deal with him and some a couple of other things. I got it. I got it down. But I love this. It's, Can you hold it? Yeah, it's a candle. I mean, um, a light fixture. It's a light fixture. Real pretty graphics on it. Um, but the lady suggested it could be a on the table for and hold candles. Could be. Yep. It's nice. You I don't want it. me installing it. So that was three dollars <laughs> and this. Um, I'm sure y'all know what this is. But she asked me when I walked over there and picked it up, she asked me if I knew what it was. And I said, it's a carnival piece. And she's like, you're the first one that's said that. Nobody knew what it was. But um, it was $5 and this was $3. But she gave me both of them for $5. So basically, I got one free. So that was a good deal. My first carnival piece that I've actually purchased. I've seen them. They're usually a lot more. Here's this amber base. Pretty design. I don't know who makes it. Somebody out there might know. But as y'all know, I buy what I like. I like what I buy. Trophies. We always collect trophies. This is a nice heavy one. And it's kind of dirty and everything, but um, it was on a dollar table. No, 50 cent 50 table. Cents. 50 cent table. Stole that. <laughs> and it's a heavy paid, one. I would have easily paid 10 bucks for that. We got enough trophies. But they're cool. And I got these. I think I got these for a dollar on a dollar table. Little salt and pepper shakers. Um, I've seen these before. Don't remember who makes them. This is a nostalgia piece, I guess. Um, I'm slowly starting to collect these because my parents had them. Spaghetti glass. It's smooth on the inside and it's, it has texture on the outside. But I got two wine glasses like that. And then this big old thing, I haven't looked her up yet, but I've been seeing these kind of popular. I had three and I've sold two already, but they were much smaller. Those from the 70s? Yeah, and earlier, I think even earlier. The ones that I sold were newer, but I really like her. She's neat. She's neato. I'm gonna change my word to cute, from cute to neato. <laughs> I use cute too much. And here's a radio. I love radios. Supposedly it works. Supposedly. But this is cracked. So I'm not plugging it in in this room. Mm. Maybe outside. Yeah. The guy said it worked. Made of maple. And, and this is light. the radio dial. And the clock. Clock, uh-huh. And the knobs are bake light. So What's Tammy's going to do the bake light test later. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure they're bake light. And then, oh, you forgot your little wooden thing in here. Oh. I don't. Your wooden foot. This looks really small to be a shoe stretcher. Actually, it has to be. It can't be at someone's last. Anyway, someone painted it to look like a shoe. But I think I'll just screw it into the wall and maybe this way and just hang a hat on it because his cowboy hats nope he don't wear cowboy hats his, cowboy <laughs> his hats. baseball caps will look so cool on that <laughs> okay where are we okay i got this because again i'm going to do my 
bathroom and vintage, of course, you know, old stuff. And I don't think I'm going to use that as a display. I got a few um, creamers. I just love the color orange. This was made in Italy. It's that clay. And this one is, um, I love the design on that. Um, Nesco wear. I mean, Nap Napco wear. I really like that one. I don't keep melted butter, but I don't know. It's cute. And I got this creamer. I think all of these creamers were, nope, this, these were a dollar. This one, I think, was $3. I have another one similar to this that I think I just recently listed. It's Lusterware. And then this one. Nice bright orange. I love the orange colors. Um, made in... Is that so? Yeah, Japan. Pretty colors. Then oh, I have. I always get frogs when I find them, the metal frogs, and the little flower pins when I find them at a good price. Um, I have a display in my bathroom window of all flowers. I have to show y'all that one day. Then I have this, as Misty would call it, great for an air plant. Covering up his face. It's got a little bit of crazing. I got it half price. Yeah, he's got a little bit of crazy on him right there. Kitty cat. It needs a air plant for a tail. And then these are so cute. I got them half price. Oh, let me get my camera up. Salt and pepper shakers. Uh, belly goats. Um, can't breathe that. I'll have to look that up in a minute. I can't read the sign. But I got these billy goats. They're cute. I said the word cute. Um, neato. They're neato. Neato. And then I have a couple of these um, Mex Mexican potteries. Um, Tanala. I'm getting a little collection of these. I think I've sold one. I've had a cat a little bit bigger than this one. I've already sewed, and I have another one out there that still needs to be listed. Then, this is a lipstick holder. So cute with the little cherub on the side. He's playing a guitar. It's Been, neato. It's neato? Yeah, because you said cute again. <laughs> it's neato. It will, it will look very neato on a vanity. <laughs> and then... This orange. Another ashtray. Oh, yeah. I didn't notice that. It looks like there's a crack in it. I did not see that. I just saw the orange colors. I love the orange colors. And then I got this bejeweled Well, instead of cigarettes, dog. I can use it for crack. For what? <clears throat> well, it's got a crack in it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Y'all get to know him well. Um, this little doggy with, that was bejeweled. I think he was a dollar, wasn't he? On the dollar table. Uh, he kinda, so I hope he was not expensive. That's dirt or like sticker. Um, what does that, what does that say? I don't know, but he's weird looking. <laughs> oh. Rose. Rose Lane. Rose Lane. Made in the USA. Yes, he's bejeweled. He's hypnotizing. Okay, and then I got these little um, season tin cans. This one's great for Halloween. And I really like this one. I love the graphics on that one. And then those two. I got each one of these for a dollar and went to the next booth and somebody wanted five dollars a piece for their little You got all cans. four for a dollar? No, they were a dollar a piece. Each. Yeah. But That's I'd, weird because that wasn't one of the first 
Boo, so we Boo's went to. Went to? She was cheap. That was the, yeah. one, the lady? Yeah, she was giving stuff away practically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She had oh, good yeah. stuff. I mean, well, she had good prices. I didn't necessarily need all of her stuff that she had. Well, here's a Lusterware plate. I think I got this for a dollar, too. Nice little plate. And this Lusterware set. Now, I think this is gorgeous. I haven't looked it up yet, but very pretty colors. What is that, a chocolate pot, teapot? I don't know. And it came with two, two mugs. Looks Japanese. Is it Japanese? Mm. See if I can read that. Japan, made in Japan, hand painted. Hand painted. And then this little bud vase. I don't know. I don't know if that's real old or not, but it was cute. It was only a dollar. I got it from the same lady I got this set from, which I paid $5 for that set. And then this, I just liked it because it had the cherries on it. Not sure what you use it for or how old it is. <clears throat> but I got this and the lion and this because I got my kids a my kids a new TV with a VHS and DVD player in it so and I like the fact that all the old movies are on one DVD and I got this those four items all at the same pack place and I paid ten dollars for all four of them and these are um, some pre-made fabric I mean a vintage fabric like they were going to make a quilt or something. And I like to sew, play with it. But I'll probably make pillows. And I've been wanting to do a lot of pillows. And I'll probably use these for that. Some design like that. And that's about it. That was our haul from Canton. We had a blast. There was a lot of people there. A vendors, that is. And so much to choose from. It took us. We didn't even finish going through everything like we normally do we normally get through it all and we didn't so anyways stay tuned for our next video and if you like this comment like and subscribe you gotta know that dave see y'all next time